the lesson we're going to be learning All Right Now by Free. Uh, great old classic rock tune. Um, pretty simple because it's just really two parts. Uh, but there is one chord in there that's kind of difficult. <clears throat> um, but other than that, it's, it's really just kind of the same thing over and over. The song is in A. And it's based around this A, basically an A power chord. You would play an A, like an A major chord, and then add your pinky to the fifth fret of the high E string. So you get that high A note. Now, there's two guitars in the original recording. One on the left and one on the right. And they're playing just a little bit different rhythms sometimes. So I'm just kind of going to go with what sounds the most accurate. And they play the rhythm a little bit different throughout, but nobody's really going to be able to tell the difference. Um, so we're just going to kind of pick the one that's most obvious um, or sounds the most like it. So, uh, but we're going to start with this chord. <laughs> So what that is, is you strum that down, and you kind of, you don't rake it, but you don't want to just go, you just want to kind of drag it out a little bit. Then you hit the open A string, then you do this chord, which is a, an A over D. So you're going to put your second finger on the third fret of the B string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the D string, and you should get all these notes to sound out. They need to hit the high E string at all. So it's and then you go back to this chord. So we got okay then this is where the tricky part chord comes in. So we have this part next. So what that is you're gonna take your first finger off and I'm gonna have you use your pinky up here, and this is what makes it a little bit difficult. So pinky on the fifth fret of the A string. Now, if you're touching this, I'm sorry, fifth fret of the E string, if you're touching the A string here with your pinky, that's okay, because you wanna mute that anyway, you don't need it. Um, then you got your third finger on the fourth fret of the D string, your first finger, or your your third, sorry, your second finger on the third fret of the B string. And you want this G, G, this open G string to be ringing out. Okay. So we got, it's gonna get, you're gonna hit the low E string first. So down, and then down, up, down, up. Then the same thing here, take your pinky off and put your first finger back down, barring an A chord. And then it's down, up, down, down with just the open string, and then back to this chord. So let me do that again nice and slow. One more time. And then at regular speed, it sounds like this. And it just repeats that throughout the whole verse. Now, you could, that's the way the original guitar player plays it. If you see him playing it live, he, he plays it like that. You could really, instead of playing the A here, you could play it as an open A string and it'd be really a lot easier. So, so it'd be like that. Just take your pinky off, don't play the low E string and play the open A instead. So you could do it that way. Um, and it really is probably easier. I've just gotten used to playing it the other way. Now, 
It does sound a little different when you... Because when you play an A on the low E string as opposed to the open A, it does sound a little bit thicker. So if you're into all those little nuances, then you might want to play it this way. As opposed to... I don't know if you can tell the difference. So that's that part. Okay, so it goes through that. Then we have the chorus. It's really pretty easy. You're gonna come all the way up here to the 12th fret on the A string and play a power chord. It's an A power chord. You're gonna hit it three times. Well, let me play the whole chorus so you know what it sounds like. So it goes through two times. So we have our, our A power chord. Now I'm gonna play it with my pinky instead of my third finger. Just because of the notes that come after it, it makes it easier to get to. So we got one, two, three, three hits there. Real staccato, you don't wanna, not like that, you want. And I'm choking that off with my palm here. So we got. And that's. Uh, 14 on the low E string to 12 on the low E string. To a power chord on the 10th fret of the A string. That's a G. You let that ring out. Two, three, four. Now all I did with there was drop my first finger back one fret and kept my pinky right where it was. And then we go back to where we started on the A power chord. Now, there's a slight difference between the second time, the first time you play it and the second time. The first time, when it goes back to that A at the very end, that A comes on the and of four of the last bar of the phrase. And then the second time, before it goes back to the verse, it falls on the one. And let me show you the difference. So we got, we got, so it's pushed a little bit. One, two, three. So it's one, two, so it's one and two and three and four and. It's right there is where you hit it. One and. Uh, as opposed to. If you listen to the recording, you'll hear what I'm, I'm talking about. It's a pretty subtle difference, but um, rhythmically it's fairly important. Uh, to be accurate with the song. So that's the whole chorus. Two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and. And then again. Two, three, four, one. And that's it for that. Um, so that's all the main parts of the song. Now, after that, it goes into this guitar solo, and I'm gonna show you the first part of the guitar solo um, in a second, and then the rest of the guitar solo um, I'm gonna show you in another lesson, but I wanna show you the bass line because the only guitar part is the solo, so there's no, if you're playing rhythm, if you want something to play during this little jam part, you can play this, so um, it goes, that's the bass line in this jam part. So it's fifth uh, fret E string with your pinky. Da, 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 three hits. Then second fret. Then open E. Kind of repeat the same thing, a little bit different rhythmically. And then it goes to G, third fret, and then fifth fret D, uh, A string, then second fret E, fifth fret A string.
at the very end, they hit an E. This is like an E power chord. One, two, back to the verse. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know how that went for, you know, just the overall chord structure of the song. And that's just a little jam in A. And then G. Okay, so that's that. So now I want to show you the first part of that guitar solo where there, there's like a little snare drum roll thing before that bass line kicks in. And then in another lesson, we'll go over the rest of the guitar solo. Okay, so that was the lead part that I'm getting ready to show you now. Uh, and again, that's going on when that little snare roll is going before that cool little bass line starts in with the jam in the middle of the song. So we're in A pentatonic minor is what's being used here. <clears throat> um, now our, our home bass, so to speak, position of A pentatonic minor is right here. And we got our second box. And then our third box. And then our fourth box. Which is where we're at, this third and fourth box, okay? If you're not familiar with the pentatonic shapes and boxes, we have a couple lessons on that. Just search for it and get familiar with it. So um, we're gonna start with and that's right here on the uh, 10th fret B string to 13th fret. So we do a little hammer on and pull off. Hammer on 13, pull off 10, hammer on 13, pull off 10, hammer on 13. So that's just one pick stroke. At the end, you do a bend on 13, and then no bend, two hits on 10, and back to 13. So all together. Okay, and that's gonna be a theme. Um, then we come up to the 15th fret B string. I'm gonna bend this with my third finger. So that's bend, release, pull off to 13. And then a bend. No bend. 13. And then end with two hits on the 14th fret of the A string, or a G string, which is an A note, the key of the song. So we got. So the second half starts the same way as the first half. Then we do a bend on the 15th fret, again on the B string. Bend, release, pull off to 13, back to a bend. Then we go to a bend and a half, so it's a whole plus a half step bend on the 17th fret of the B string. So you're bending to this note. So we got. Then you go 13 on the B string to 14 on the G string. And then you end with 15th fret, high E string, full bend. And that's to an A note right there. So we got. So the whole thing, slow. Uh, Bye. 
and then that's when all that starts, okay? So that's all the parts to the tune, minus the rest of the solo, which we're gonna do in a week or so in another lesson. Um, we'll have that out for you. Um, and it's all based in A pentatonic major. Uh, I'm sorry, that was A pentatonic minor, this is A pentatonic major. So, uh, but that's it for now for the uh, lesson on uh, All Right Now by Free.